Ford is putting one of the world's most recognizable robots to work. We've had audible screams and where people are like, oh my God, it's a dog. Now it's true, that's not exactly the reaction most employers would wanna see when they're introducing the newest member of their team to the colleagues. Fluffy, come here. Let's go, Fluffy. It's time for a busy day at work. Fluff. But you can forgive Ford employees for maybe freaking out a little bit when their newest colleague showed up for its first day on the job. The automaker has leased this Spot robot, nicknamed Fluffy, from Boston Dynamics. You've no doubt seen Spot before. It's one of the most recognized commercial robots available today. Made famous for its ability to navigate, open doors, and of course this. Oh yeah, hey, there's my downward dog. Wow. You may have even seen that my colleague Lexi recently got to control a Spot robot remotely. Ford brought this spot in to digitally map its Van Dyke, Michigan plant. Now, I had a chance to talk with Ford's manager of digital engineering, Mark Goderis, about what kind of work Fluffy's doing. So we are actually uh, mounting a high-resolution 360-degree uh, camera on him. And we're also uh, mounting a 3D laser scanner. The robot roams the plant along with its human handler, who controls it using essentially a game controller. So two joysticks, and then there's assorted buttons around the, uh, the controller that uh, do very specific things. Like Austin Dynamics put in an automatic uh, uh, writing feature. So if on uneven ground, if Fluffy does fall over, you can push the automatic write button and it'll stand right back up and you can walk away. And Ford uses these digital maps when it's planning needed updates to the factory when production starts on a new vehicle. That job would usually take about two weeks costs around $300,000. Ford says Fluffy can cut that time in half. And we would walk around with a tripod and then we'd walk around with the laser scanner mounted on top and then you'd stop, drop the tripod, press a button to start scanning. And then it would take roughly three to five minutes depending on how high a resolution scan you wanted. And then once it was complete, you'd walk 15 to 30 feet away and you repeat the scan, and you do that over the course of 3 million square feet. And Fluffy doesn't just make things more efficient. Godera says employing the robot actually helps increase worker safety. We can get into tight spots. We can climb stairs and go over uh, um, conveyors and whatnot with Fluffy. And it's allowing us to get into areas that uh, aren't necessarily safe for humans. And then we're also being able to get into tight spots where the tripod won't expand. Of course, having a robotic dog perform work a human used to do begs the question, are employees worried about losing their jobs to a robot like Fluffy? And we're getting more data and we're allowing that data to be done as I need it. So if I'm an engineer and I need the information immediately, I can release this out into the, the facility, grab the information, the data point that I need, therefore I can do my job. So people quickly recognize that they're, we're here to help. A lot of people think the dog's really cool and amazing, and so they get excited and they whip out their phone and they're taking pictures and video. Godera says eventually Ford wants to put spot robots in all of its plants and operate them remotely. We want to be able to enter into areas of confined space that may be, uh, there's hazards in there, noxious gas, and uh, that way we can stick the robot in there before a human being, test the air, take video of what's in the, the uh, area so that we can ensure that it's safe for our employees. So what do you think? Would you wanna see a robot like Fluffy roaming your place of business? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Lexi's video where she got to take a spot robot for a test drive. Spoiler alert, she only crashed him one time. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Andy Altman, I'll see you in the future.